we are now going to give the ability to uh, different users to have different groups. So we can perhaps incorporate an admin group or a moderator group or just a standard user basically. Uh, and we'll perform a check on the home page just to let the user know what kind of uh, permissions they have and we can really drill down sort of deep into this and give them very specific permissions but for now we're just going to focus on uh, a user being either a standard user or being an administrator so basically um, these permissions here as a JSON uh, object or string we'll look at what that means in a minute if you're unfamiliar um, basically govern what these uh, different uh, rights do so this is very very straightforward and, and the method to to actually extract this and check is very straightforward as well um, but let's go ahead and just define what how we sort of want this to look on the home page so um, on the home page I'm just going to uh, create a check down here and I'm going to say if uh, user has permission and I'm going to say admin so that there is the um, is the sort of um, that uh, the property value here um, so if the user has permission admin for example I'm just going to echo out in a paragraph you are an admin uh, it's straighter I guess now this can also be on a page per page basis so we could perform this check at the top of a page or if we could we, we might we might say if not user has permission and we might then redirect to you know a 404 or we might redirect back to the home page or something like that for now we're just going to demonstrate this functionality here um, and and you know that's gonna that's gonna that's how it's going to work out. Now, when we refresh, we obviously get an error because we haven't created this functionality in our user class. So let's go ahead and do that now. And let's go down here, uh, here, and we'll say public function has permission. Okay, so um, obviously we need to the ability to define what kind of key we're looking for. Uh, so we have we obviously have key value pairs as we've seen in the database um, but we want to tell me what group uh, they're actually in first of all so we're going to say if this uh, sorry we're going to say group is this db get and we're going to grab data from our groups table and we want to say where oh sorry not where um, we want to say where id equals this data group and the reason for that is let's go ahead and just print our on group first the reason we want to do that is um, so at the moment we are just a standard user so we're outputting ID of one which is the ID that corresponds to a standard user uh, and uh, the name is a standard user permissions blah 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 um, but let's go ahead and just change um, the user that's currently logged in which is myself to a group of two and when we refresh we can see that we have um, the name of the uh, of the sort of group we're in and the permissions here now what we need to do is um, is in, uh, is decode this because it's at the moment it's a JSON object. We want to decode this so we have a PHP array. Now this sounds a bit difficult, but uh, if you're unfamiliar what JSON is, it's uh, uh, JavaScript object notation, and it's just notation in the form of a JavaScript object, which is a lightweight data transfer format. So it basically allows us to store um, a, a sort of comp not a complex structure, but uh, a structure of data here uh, but without defining it in a in a in an odd way like a comma separated way for example we're, we're defining it as a JSON object so this is valid perfectly valid JSON um, and for example we might also want this user to be a moderator so uh, we could create the functionality to look like this Like that, and one just uh, signifies that they are, and zero would signify that they aren't. So that's basically how we're going to do it. So let's save that anyway, and we can we can use that in some of our checks later. So you can see that that's now changed. So um, 
what we need to do is decode this. Um, so instead of print R, we want to first of all check whether actually the user is in a group or not. Um, we'll assume they are because that value should always be required, whether or not they're a standard user or anything else. What we then want to do is extract extract the permissions, um, which are obviously group, which we've got here first, and that will be permissions like that. So we've extracted the permissions, but at the moment, all these permissions are is just the, oops, uh, let's just have a look. What's, ah, sorry, permissions. That is just a, a JSON object like that. So what we now need to do is uh, encode it, oh, sorry, decode it. Um, and that's using the JSON decode function in PHP. Now by, the, by default, this will return an object, um, but we want this to return an array so we can just pick the key out of it. Um, so we're just going to pass true there. So if we now go ahead and print R on permissions, uh, we can now see that we have an array of admin one, moderator one. So we've now taken that, converted it essentially, or decoded it into a PHP array. What we can now do is we can say if permissions key, and key comes from what we pass through to it. So for example, if permissions admin, um, we could say it is equal to true. I mean, this, would, this wouldn't work because we're using, um, uh, uh, we're type checking as well. Um, but we could say that for example, uh, and then we can return true. Now, otherwise what we might want to do is, well, probably what we do want to do is just return false in case any of that doesn't work. So what we now do is refresh and uh, oops, again, I've said permission instead of permission. So let's just change that. There we go. So you are an administrator um, and we can do exactly the same thing. Uh, for example, if we want to check if we're a moderator and it would work in exactly the same way like that. You're a moderator. But when I go ahead and I modify my uh, user record to say that I'm in group one, that simply won't work because I don't have the relevant permission. So that is really it. We've demonstrated how we can create a really sh small but effective permission system just by introducing another method and uh, introducing a JSON object into our groups, uh, one of the fields in our groups. And obviously you don't need to replicate this for every user because the user is just mapped this particular ID. So as long as a, a user is user ID too, they are an administrator and they have the permissions here, which can be checked. Um, so you could have moderator and then moderator one, admin, admin one, or you can have just super user. They're an admin, they're a moderator, etc. So this is uh, how we created a basic uh, permission system and uh, how we've detected the type of a user.